Absolutely, Dan. I mean, everybody knows when the feds make charges, they usually win. So they're going to go for something that they have solid proof. For example, the GoFundMe allegations with Sapphire the Pitbull, great uh, wire fraud. Let's talk about that. That's the dog uh, where a former, a, a, where a Navy vet came forward and said that there was a, a GoFundMe page that was started by George Santos and that basically ripped him off. Let me play. This is number six. This is Richard Ostoff talking about what he said happened to him. She died about four months after this all went down. Um, there was a stream, string of texts between me and DeVolder. Um, I talked to him one time on the phone. And in one of the texts, I was so upset about that. I knew that I wasn't going to get the money at that point. I knew there was something going on. I was like, I know that you mind my dog and my friends and family's hearts to raise money for yourself. And he told me that was the most offensive, horrible thing anybody had ever said to him. DeVolder, of course, is the, the, the another name that George Santos went by. How is that a possible federal crime? Well, if he, again, it has a GoFundMe and he is stating that his purpose is to raise money for these animals, and in fact, he's pocketing the money for himself, he's engaged in basic garden variety fraud. Yep. Um, and Kevin McCarthy uh, has said, and I want to play this, this is what he said about what happened. I mean, up to this point, he sort of stuck by him, but he's also said if there's a crime involved, that could change things. This is uh, number five. Now, I will hold him to the same standard I hold anyone else elected to Congress. If for some way, when we go through ethics, that he has broken the law, or, you know, then we will remove him. And, and, Katie, I would expect that in this sort of document, they will probably lay out in, in pretty specific detail exactly how they believe that Santos broke the law, right? Absolutely, but we need for it to be first unsealed because if it is sealed, then the general public will not have access to that information. But once we see it, we'll be able to see the prima facie case. And, and right now, it may be that George Santos doesn't even know, right? Is it possible with, if it's under seal right now that Santos doesn't even know what he's been charged with? That's entirely possible. One would expect that, you know, the prosecutors are in touch with his counsel and may have told him what he's been charged with, but doubtful that he's actually seen the indictment if it's not been sealed, unsealed. And remember, he's still being investigated by a whole bunch of other entities as well. And this is going to be the ultimate intersection of politics and law. There's the legal side, and then there's the political side, because as a political matter, he can still continue doing his job He's under indictment. In theory, he can continue his job even after he's convicted. Have to be impeached. Anyway, Christy Greenberg, Katie Smith, thank you both. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.